bless him. Just begin to lift your voice and bless him. Kane eterende hese paruka haiki neke hasurne bahaike. Rika o sereme de hesando da rea gada sara. Reba godaya saramandole rede gede ge sarabadura gadaya. Genele re de 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 rea godara masa yende de re koramada. Randele rea kotala rayan tele re de 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 shuka. Amaso sereke te yantala rababo saya. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your presence. 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 Hallelujah. We bless you. We magnify you, Jesus. Koramanda da 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 kaika da rakadeya sahaika da naraka hasaya. You are worthy, Jesus. 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 From the rising of the sun, you are worthy. You are worthy, you are worthy, Adonai, you are worthy. You are worthy, Adonai, you are worthy, Adonai, we give you praise. We honor you, Jesus, we magnify you. We bow before you, O oh God, and we glorify your name. Hallelujah. We bless you, Jesus, we bless you. If you can, just lift your hands in his presence. He's here tonight, he's here with us, he's here. His presence is here. His spirit is here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name is to be
Salt you King of Glory. We bless your name, O God. E makaya na mandi de de de. Rede mana na ma shebra ne ma ya na 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 na. Mande le de de bo sheri ya le bra na 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 mande le de balada da da da. Father, we worship you. We exalt you. We lift you high, O God. We worship you, King of Glory. Blessed be your name. Somebody say Yahweh, Yahweh. We praise Your name. Thank You, Lord. Oh, mana maya na mashana ya na mana na na. Thank You, Jesus. We bless You, Lord. Thank You, King of Glory. We worship You. Lift up Your voice and just praise Him. Just adore Him. Magnify him, give him your worship. Exalt the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. Heavenly Father, we are so full of gratitude tonight. We worship your majesty. We worship your Father. There is none like you, Lord. On this day two of our fasts, we just glorify you. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name for what you are doing in the midst of your people. Thank you, Abba. In Jesus' name we have worship. And the church that believe, put those hands together and say amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Please welcome two or three people around you. Amen. To the prayer meeting tonight. It's another day to be in his presence. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God.
Thank you, Jesus. All right, let's go right quick to prayer. Or let's go to the Word of God. Isaiah chapter 2 and verse 1 to 4. Popular scripture that everybody should know in this house. This was the prophecy of the church in the last days. This is what the church is going to look like. What is supposed to be. The word of the word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. Nice verse. It shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be what? Exalted or established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations. How many nations? All nations shall flow into it. All nations shall flow into it. Next verse. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us his ways, and he we will walk in his path. For out of Zion shall go forth the law. Somebody say the law. And the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Verse 4, and he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people and they shall beat their sword into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. And the church say, Amen. You know, church, I want you to know that as the world is getting darker and darker, and gross darkness upon the people, it is opportunity for the church to shine. Amen. Say amen. amen. I was preaching somewhere, I think it was Streams of Joy in Midrand uh, for Pastor Jerry Eze. And um, I, I, I said to them, I said, you know, we cannot complain like the word because when the failure of the word is the opportunity of the church to rise and to shine. We can't complain like them. The Bible said that in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established on top. Somebody say on top. You are heading straight to the top from this fast. I decree you are heading straight to the top from this fast. He said, and he shall be exalted above all hills. How many hills? All hills. That is the prophecy for the last day's church. That you will be exalted above all hills. Say amen to that, somebody. Say he shall be exalted. Now, my, my question is, you know, every time when I read a promise in the Bible, the question I ask is, what must I? I do to see the promise come to pass. Many people know how to claim promises, but they don't know how to claim the instructions. And for every promise in the Bible, there are instructions attached. There is something you must do. What must the church do for the whole nations to decide we're all going to church? Because they, they look, if this prophecy is true, why have they not come? Meaning there is something you and I must do. What is it that we must do? What are we supposed to do for the whole world? For the whole nations? That many people will say to themselves, let us go to the house of the Lord God of Jacob and let him teach us his ways. What should we do? Look at your neighbor and say, have you ever asked that question? Mm, yeah, have you ever asked that question? You know, church, it's important for you to understand that the times that you are in. Understanding of the times puts you above others. The Bible says concerning the children of Issachar, who knows that scripture? Chapter 12 of First Chronicles, verse 32. The Bible says there are these children called the children of Issachar who understood the times and know what Israel ought to do. And the Bible says because they knew what Israel ought to do, the Bible gives us the number of these people that they were 200 men. 
and that their brethren were all at their command. Why? Because they knew the season. They understood times. You must read the signs of times, church. You know, the days we are in now, listen to me, I know that right now the church is a mess. Honestly, the church, these are the days when it's even a shame to say I'm a pastor. Do you know that? Because of all the craziness we are seeing. Right now, the quality of the church has, it, it has dropped in our country. And even in other nations. I was talking to my dear friend, uh, Reverend Ike, and he said to me, my friend, <laughs> if you are saying that the quality of church has dropped in South Africa, come to America. You will see pastors, pastors that are gay. Pastor will finish preaching and go and download a, a, a bottle of whiskey to calm his spirit down. Hallelujah. I mean, one of my friends went to California to preach. He finished preaching. The PA of the man of God comes to him and say, servant of the Lord, we see you didn't come. I, this story he told me by, with his whole mouth. We were face to face here in this office. <laughs> he said the, the PA to the man of God came to me and said, we see the woman of God is not with you. And uh, we know you might need to rest tonight. Kabosh. And so choose ye among uh, the, what you see. Kalabosha. In, oh, oh, somebody say church. <laughs> Look at church. He said choose one so you can straighten your bones tonight. You know what he said to me? He said, my friend, I thought rapture has happened and I missed heaven. I could not believe that in a church, they are telling me to choose somebody to rest with after preaching. That's the church we have today. That's the church. A church where people are faking miracles. Somebody will go and buy a wheelchair, put people on it and be paying them to come out. People buy caskets. Put human beings. Yeah? He said the man is from mortuary. <laughs> and he got raised from the dead, finished a whole plate of rice. <laughs> what, what kind of church do we have today? I mean, a whole plate of rice. You know what it means to die and wake up? Faking all kinds of things. Cooking miracles, cooking prophecy. Oh! of nonsense. Look, in the last days I will pour out my spirit upon how many flesh? Upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. God, listen, what the Holy Ghost can do, don't fake it. You are not hearing me, somebody. What the Holy Spirit can do, you don't need to fake it. You have it, you have it. Are we here, somebody? If you have it, you what? You have it. And that, all these faking and forging things. And if you are a pastor listening to me, you don't need those things. You know, these are the days when people, all kinds of people, I receive over 200 messages every day. Over. Apostles. You click on the person who says he's an apostle. You're like, where did you get, who borrowed you this title? You don't know your left from your right. Apostle, prophetess. That's the church we have today. And it has brought disrepute to the body of Christ. But you know, God is restoring. Uh, you didn't hear me. I say God is restoring his church. Let me show you what, to, what God wants to do. Acts chapter 15 and verse 16. Acts chapter 15 and verse 16 and 17. And after this, I will return. And we build again the tabernacle of David, which is falling down. God is going to rebuild the church. Oh, there is still a remnant. Look at your neighbor, say, we are a remnant. Yeah, there is still many, 7,000 of us who has not kissed bow, who refuse to fornicate, who refuse to commit adultery, who refuse to drink whiskey, who refuse to live a wayward life, who refuse to be careless with sacred things. Am I talking to the church of Jesus? There are still many of us. Amen, somebody. 
Apostle, you are self-righteous. He's not self-righteous. No. The carelessness of the church has come to a point where it needs to be spoken about. It's really out of hand. Completely out of hand. And something must be restored. It needs to be restored. The dignity of the church needs to be restored. God says, I will rebuild. I will return. And I will build again. Somebody say build again. God is going to build you again. I say God is going to build a church again. I will rebuild or build again the tabernacle of David which is falling down and I will build again the ruins thereof and I will set I will sorry go back go back go back I will set it up God will set up the church look at verse 17 that the residue of men might seek the Lord God is going to rebuild the church so that men will come and seek him again in church People will no longer be running from church. I had a counseling today and this woman said to me, you know what has been done to me in church broke me to pieces where I just thought there is no need to go to church and serve anymore. How is it that we are hurt in the world? We come to church, we receive more hurt. A place of healing, a place of good news. What is going on? But God said that the residue of men might come and seek after the Lord and all the Gentiles and upon whom my name is called, saith the Lord, who doeth all these things. Now, these people were quoting Amos chapter 9. But before we go to Amos chapter 9, I want us to look at Joel because I, I want to take some of our prayer. Joel chapter 2. Before God said, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Joel chapter 2 and... Um, Let's look at verse 12. Joel, the book of Joel, chapter 2 and verse 12. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Joel 2 and verse 12. Do we have it on the... All right. Praise God forevermore. He says, therefore also, now, say it who? Say it who? Come on, talk to me. Say it who? He says, say it the Lord. He says, turn ye even to me with how many of your heart? Look at your neighbor, say, during this fast, turn. Please make it turn, make it turn. Talk to them, say, make it turn. Turn, turn. He said, turn ye to the Lord with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning. That's what we did yesterday in repentance. I say, I say to you, you must never get to a point where you don't repent of your sins. Don't allow this nonsense grace message that says that born New Testament believers don't repent. That's a lie from hell. Amen, somebody. I told you if you are on the phone and you just lie to Sibongile, tell Sibongile, hold on, hold on, hold on. Father, I just lied to Sibongile. Forgive me in the name of Jesus. And hey, Sibongile, <laughs> <laughs> and the journey continues, amen. That's how it's supposed to be. But don't get to a point where you cannot repent. Amen, somebody. Amen. All right, let's keep reading. The Bible says, rend your hearts and not your garments. He said, when you are in a fast like this, just let God see your heart, not material things. This is not the time to begin to ask God, give me clothes, give me car. Give me. We are bigger than car. You are not hearing me. Kai is a byproduct of us loving God. As you seek him, what will happen? How many of the things that the Gentiles seek after? How many? He said, all these things that the Gentiles seek after, we start coming after you. We don't seek after car or money or car or house. or No, those are byproduct of seeking God. Is your amen serious? So he said, don't seek those things. He said, rend your heart, not your garment. Turn ye to the Lord, your God. For he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great mercy, and repented him of the eve of the evil. Next verse. Who knoweth if he will return and repent and leave what? What will he leave for you? Well, God will leave a blessing for you in this fast. Your amen is not serious. I say, God will leave a blessing for you in this fast. He says he will leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering 
and a drink offering unto the Lord your God. Next verse. Blow ye the trumpet. If you read verse 1 of chapter 2, the same thing, blow ye the trumpet. He said, sanctify a fast and call a solemn assembly. This is something the church does not do anymore. Fasting. When you talk fasting, people bail. They just run. This fasting we do every Wednesday. Why? God said, call a fast. When you are in trouble, call a fast. You have a boss troubling you, don't resign. Call a fast. One of my daughter that used to be in this church before they relocated was troubled by a, 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 one of those our cousins that cover face. You all know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You only see eye and, and mouth and a bit of nose. And was troubling my daughter. And she came to my office and said, Daddy, here is my problem. I said, daughter, you are matured enough. If you were not a matured Christian, I will pray for you. But you, you are matured. I said, go on a three days dry fast. On the third day, the CEO found out that the, our cousin changed figure somewhere. And said, cousin, get, what is get out in a hamba, not food sec. Okay, a hamba. <laughs> you know, I told you my experience of food tech when I came into South Africa. I was in hey, Jesus. It was the first time I heard it. I didn't know it was a swear word. I was, I was in a taxi. I was going from La Rochelle to the Glen. And I got to um, somewhere on Main Street. The guy started giving, collecting the money. Then taxi was two rand 80 cents and I had two rand 50 and it was short 30 cents that guy and I was I didn't know that if you sit in front you collect money bros I, uh, I got, they, yeah, it was, everybody is pointing towards me to collect money so I collected he counted it and saw that, that how that guy was driving and the whole money of people inside that bus, he calculated it and found out 30 cents was missing. He said to me, Ya shorta. What is I? What is Ya shorta? I say, Shorta what? He said, Ya shorta, 30 bob or 30. I say, Three bob. Jesus. I have seen things in South Africa, I tell you. <laughs> and I said, No, I'm sorry, man. My. my my, uh, my money was short, said 30 cents. I only have 2 rand 50. All I heard was, foot. Hey. <laughs> the guy just parked the car in the middle of the road. He said, foot. Heck. I said, what is that? I didn't know what he was saying. As he's telling me to do foot, say, I, I was standing there. I was still sitting. I said, what is that? <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> the only thing remaining was for that guy to shoot me. Then it was one guy that said, my friend, get out. This man said, you should get out of the car. That's how I got. That's my first experience. So that word, every time I hear it, I remember those days of taxi. You will never take taxi again. May the Lord deliver you from taxi. Anybody in this church taking taxi, I remove you from that season of your life. You know, <laughs> Apostle, are you swearing? I'm just telling you a story, amen? You can regard it as anything. So, look, God is restoring the church. God is restoring us back. Our dignity needs to come back. And we want to pray some prayers today, particularly as we are on this fast, that Lord, restore us. Restore the dignity of the church. It shall not be... Look at today... People come to social media. Everybody is arguing about church, about tithe, about offering, about what song we sing, about what pastor should wear, about what, how pastors look, what we should drive, what we should drink, what we should eat, how our children should behave, as if our children are not normal children. Today is the most difficult day to be a pastor's kid because the expectation on you is insane. People look at pastor's children as if they are not human. Are we together? It's crazy. 
But God will help us. Amen. Are you ready to pray, church? Let's rise on our feet. I want us to take a few prayers. You know, the first prayer that I want us to pray is that God rebuild your church again in this nation. Rebuild your church. It's in Amos chapter 9 and verse 11. Amos 9 and verse 11. Give it to us in the amplified version. We're going to take a few prayers from there. Amos 9. No, give it to us in the message version, if possible. Because that's, that's the one scripture that I, I, I really say. But also, on that judgment day, I will restore David's house that has fallen in pieces. I will repair the holes of the roof and replace the broken windows. Fix it up like it is what? New. That's what we are going to pray. Father, repair the house of God. Repair the church of Jesus in South Africa. Repair. Let the dignity of the church be restored. Those years when apostles spoke, both president kings, everybody heard them. They obeyed. But today, yeah. let's not even say what is happening today it's a shame are you ready to pray say heavenly father in the name of jesus this is the last days father rebuild restore the tabernacle of david restore david's house restore the church of jesus that has fallen in pieces in south africa Repair the holes on the roof and replace the broken windows. Fix it up like brand new in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Le paradaga baya da brande de beke shembra katas em barakata ya da brande gele barakatas my father in the name of jesus lord repair the church again oh god restore the church again my father restore the dignity of the church of jesus christ in south africa restore the dignity of the church restore repair oh god the church again oh god restore the david's tabernacle that has fallen in pieces. Repair the holes in the roof. My God, replace the broken windows. Fix it up like brand new again. Lord, restore the church of Jesus in South Africa. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rebado se breke pelegedes, embrete ke shete breke te, la parada yada brande de beke she bregedes, ma yeke te breke pelegedes, embrete ke se ke breke te, rada bayada branda la barakataya. My Father, restore, oh God, restore, restore the value of the church, restore the dignity of the church, restore your presence in the church, restore the glory of God back to the church, restore, oh God. The anointing back to the church. Restore power to the church. Restore, restore, restore. Shete ke lebonto embroto koshembele ketos ambreke te ke lebre de gere rabe de gebre di avela mambreke dos embrada yada bala branda dada bashata makete breke tosha de bale kete embreke te ke lebranda dada bashata ya. My Father, restore. Jesus, restore. Holy Ghost, restore your glory. Restore your presence. Restore your glory. Restore your power. Restore your presence. Restore the glory of God. Back in the church in, in South Africa. The church of Jesus. Across this nation. Restore your glory. Restore your power. Restore your presence. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, oh God of heaven. We bleed our cause today. Oh 
Restore. Restore, restore, restore back the church again. Rebuild the tabernacle of David. Restore the glory of God. Restore back to the church in this nation. Restore the glory. Restore the power. Restore the anointing. Restore the presence of God back in the church again. In the name of Jesus. My God. Restore, restore, restore in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray this prayer for yourself. Say, Heavenly Father, I consecrate my life to you. I consecrate my life for your use. As you are looking for vessels of honor to be used in these last days in the church, Lord, I'm available. Let me be one of your vessels. Let me be one of your vessels. I consecrate myself. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and consecrate yourself. My God, my God, I consecrate my life. I surrender my life. I yield my life. I submit my life to your will. I consecrate my life. Oh God, Father, for the use of the Almighty. My God, use me as a vessel of honor. And metacombe, liko prende kepeli adosa. Mande brekete le branadada. Shete kepele ke brekete. Mande brote ke sopre kepeli gados. Embrata kapajada bayakata. Rabe de ke prende de de beshe de bregede. Rabada yada brande le beshada ya. Maya kapata kaska balakata. Bade ko sepre kepele ketes. Holy Ghost. I consecrate my life to you. I consecrate myself to you. I consecrate my body to you. I consecrate my spirit, my soul to you. Jesus, if you can use anything in this last day in the church, Lord, use me as a vessel of honor. Jesus. Jesus. Rada ba 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 ba, shede braga da ya. Mande ye bara de ge bede ketos. Embrata ka pa shada braga da ya. Mande kore be sopre de ge de bede. Ma shade be ye ke brende ke le bere ketos. Thank you, Jesus. Go back to Amos chapter 9 and verse 11 in the message. The Bible says, and David's people will be strong again. Ah, yeah. Say amen to that. Yeah. I say you shall be strong again. Yeah. He says, and seize what is left of it, enemy Edom, plus everyone else under my sovereign judgment, God's decree, he will do so. Or he will do this. Next verse. Come on, keep moving. Yes, indeed, it won't be long. God's decree. Things are going to be happening so fast that your head will swim. One thing fast on the heels of the other. You will not be able to keep up. Everything will be happening at once. Everywhere you look, blessings. Blessings like wine pouring off the mountains and the hills. I will make everything right again for my people, House of Treasures Ministries. And they will rebuild their ruined cities. We are going to pray for speed, recovery, speed for recovery. That the church will recover the years that have been lost. The church will recover everything we have lost to the devil. Are you ready to pray? Somebody say speed is coming into my life. You will recover all that you lost. I say you shall recover all that the enemy stole from you. Say heavenly father, in the name of Jesus, Lord... Rebuild your church with speed. Let there be a speedy recovery of everything that the church has lost over the years. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and open fire. My God, speed. Let there be a speedy recovery. He says everything will be happening so fast that our head will swim. My God, one thing fast on the heel of another. 
my God, my God. My God, my God, my God, speedy recovery, speedy recovery of the church, speedy recovery. The church of Jesus in South Africa shall recover all. We decree speedy recovery. My Father, give us speed. My God, as we recover, Lord, rebuild the church with speed. Rebuild the church with speed. Somebody pray. My father, speedy recovery for the church. Speedy recovery for your people. You said your people will rebuild the waste cities. My father. God says so. Your people will rebuild the waste cities. God says so. God people will rebuild the ruined cities. God says so. In the name of Jesus. My Father, repair. Lord, restore. Sweet speed, oh God. Repair the church. Restore with speed. Restore your people with speed. My God, everywhere we look, blessings, blessings upon blessings upon your people for recovery, for divine recovery. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. First Chronicles chapter 12 and verse 32. First Chronicles 12 and verse 32. Glory to God. Praise his holy name. And the children of Issachar. Let me rephrase that. And the children of House of Treasures Ministries. Which were men and women that had the understanding of the times. To know what South Africa ought to do. <laughs> and the heads of them were thousands. And all their South African brethren were at their commandment. <laughs> that is your portion. This is a prophetic word for you here today. We are going to pray. Father, give us the understanding of the times. Give us understanding. Church, you know, <clears throat> when you know what you ought to do, everybody will be at your command. I'm telling you. When you know what you ought to do, <laughs> people will be at your command. You understand the times and the seasons. Knowing times and seasons. Knowing what next to do. I mean, we can already see now by the dressing of everybody that we are already where? Heading into what season? Winter season. Amen. I mean, I will wear t-shirt here and I will be sweating. Yeah, I'm wearing this and I'm not, I'm actually not, not pouring sweat. Because the weather is getting cold. Now church, when you understand season in the spirit, that's exactly what happens. Do you know that some people, they are in winter in the spirit and they are wearing t-shirt. And then they come out and catch flu. And they are spiritually sick because they did not understand the seasons. May you know your season. I say, may you know when your season comes. The time that God told us to build this building, in that season, if we didn't do it, this church will be smelling today. You will not, you, this church, the glory would have faded away. Understanding seasons. When you know when your time comes, when, what you ought to do, certain things that you must do at certain times for certain things to happen. We are going to believe God for understanding of times. Lord, give us the understanding of times and seasons so we know what to do. Are you ready to pray, church? Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive grace 
like the children of Issachar to understand the times and seasons. Father, give me an understanding of the times and seasons so I know what this nation ought to do. So I know what I ought to do in my seasons. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray. Malia brahadi boko shambra gada ya namana dal. Ira baka paya namana gebrenda keli arabadash. My Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Father, that you give me understanding, understanding of the times and the seasons, understanding of times and seasons, Lord, that I will no longer walk in darkness. I will no longer walk as one that beateth the air. My Father, understanding of the times and seasons. Grace, oh God, to understand times and seasons. The grace that was upon the children of Issachar. I pray that grace upon this house, upon every single person in this church. In the name of Jesus Christ. Grace for the understanding of seasons. Mashe Kotaliba. My father understanding understanding of the times and seasons give me the spirit of understanding for the times and seasons my father that i ought to know what israel ought to do per time what south africa ought to do my father give me understanding of the times and seasons in the name of jesus christ Understanding of the times and seasons of my life, of this ministry, of this nation. My Father, give me the grace for the understanding of times and seasons. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Go back to Joel chapter 2. And let us read again from verses 12. Joel chapter 2. The Bible said, Therefore also now saith the Lord, Turn ye even to me with all your heart, and with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning. And rend your hearts, and not your garments. Turn unto the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful. Somebody say, God, release your grace and mercy in Excel conference. Oh yeah, say it like you are serious. Father, release your grace and mercy in Excel conference. Yeah, are you ready to pray that prayer? He said, our God is gracious and merciful and slow to anger and of great kindness and repented him of the evil. I want us to pray. Father, excel 2024. Lavish excel with your grace and mercy. Ah yeah, grace and mercy. Somebody shout grace and mercy. Those are two double parallel. If God releases it on you, your life is sorted. Grace and mercy. You know, a man cried out, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus shifted. Stopped his entire ministry to make sure that a blind man gets his healing. Father, pour out your grace and mercy on Excel Conference. Are you ready to pray? Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, release, pour out your grace and your mercy in Excel Conference 2024 from the 23rd to the 28th of April. Lord, pour out your grace and your mercy upon, our, upon this conference. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. My Father, pour out your grace. Oh, be gracious and be merciful. My Father, pour out your grace. Be gracious and be merciful unto this house, unto everyone that will attend this conference. Be gracious and be merciful 
my father pour out your grace and your mercy upon a cell conference 2024 in the name of jesus christ my father pour out your grace and your mercy father pour out your grace and your mercy upon excel conference 2024 father we ask oh god of mercy oh god that answers prayer pour out your grace and your mercy in the name of jesus pour out your grace and your mercy upon your people father in the name of jesus christ in this conference we shall see your grace we shall see your mercy physically in the name of jesus for thou will arise and have mercy upon zion for the time to favor her yea the set time is now my god pour out your grace and your mercy in the name of jesus thank you holy spirit thank you father in the name of jesus and lastly the bible says verse 14 verse 14 go to verse 14 and the bible says who know it i am if he will return god he will return in excel oh god is returning for somebody here he said he will return and repent and what will he do he will leave a blessing behind him father leave a blessing in excel leave a blessing a blessing you know the bible said he not he didn't say he will leave blessings this is the blessing he was talking about in malachi and the one in Proverb, the blessing not the blessings the blessing of the lord it maketh what and does what else adds no sorrow <laughs> he said that is what god wants to live in except 2024 ah jesus say heavenly father in the name of jesus father leave a blessing in excel 2024 leave a blessing upon everybody coming for this conference leave a blessing for everybody watching this conference online, leave a blessing in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. My Father, leave a blessing. Jesus, leave a blessing. Holy Ghost, leave a blessing. In Excel 2024, leave a blessing for everyone. Everybody that will show up here, from the guest speakers to everyone. That will show up in this conference live a blessing in the name of jesus christ live a blessing live a blessing live a blessing i am a copende gelica bracatosa man de correve sopre di ele bregados am brequete que sombre de 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 vos am brequete a pere copende credia vele man bregados father live a blessing live a blessing upon everyone upon your people live a blessing jesus live a blessing upon us oh god live a blessing in this conference let everybody encounter your blessing in the name of jesus the blessing of the lord it make it rich and it added no sorrow my god leave a blessing leave a blessing open the windows of heaven leave a blessing upon everyone leave a blessing everybody coming from far and near leave a blessing upon their life in this conference in the name of jesus Holy Ghost, live a blessing, live a blessing, live a blessing, Jesus, live a blessing upon everyone coming for this conference everyone that will connect online leave a blessing jesus leave a blessing in the name of jesus christ thank you father in jesus name we pray do you believe god heard your prayers lift up your voice and lift up your hands and give him thanks give him the glory give him thanks give him thanks give him the glory hallelujah we bless you father 
we exalt you Jesus thank you for answering our prayers oh God this is the confidence we have in you that when we pray according to your will you hear at us and if you have heard us then we know we have the petition which we have asked of you call on to me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not for as many as ask it receive it we receive her we receive our answers with thanksgiving Jesus thank you Lord in Jesus name we pray and the church say amen put your hands together for the Lord I just heard your blessing is already here. <laughs> your blessing is here. Your blessing is here. It's a change of story, church. This season is a change of story. I'm telling you, testimonies are bound for you. Plenty of testimonies. Plenty, plenty. I see you writing a list of your testimonies and it's 10 pages of A4 paper. 10 pages, 20 pages. Of what the Lord has done. God is a faithful God. Let's hang on to him. You know, the Africans people say, Oh, far son, she is Jesus. Oh, far son, Jesus. Oh, how do you sing it? Oh, far son, Jesus. Oh, far son, is it oh, far son? Oh, oh, fast. See, Chooks is correcting me. <laughs> Jesus, I have suffered. Kai, choose is correcting my Africans. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the Lord is with us. <laughs> Amen. Hold on to Jesus. Look at your neighbor say, hold on. Help is on the way. Your help has come. I say, your help has come. Your help has come. Ebenezer is in this conference. Tell you, Beniza is here. He's here. He told the Lord has helped us. This is not the doing of a man, but the doing of the Lord. Your help has come. Where is my daughter Audrey? Where is she? Where did she go? She has disappeared. Oh, they went for choir practice. Oh, okay. I wanted her to sing that song. My help has come. Oh, my help has come. Come on. Oh, my help has come. Yes, Lord. Oh, say it. My help has come. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. We say my help has come. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 oh. Your help has come. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. My help has come. Oh, my help has come. Oh, my help, my help, my help has come. One more time. Oh, 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 oh. My favor has come. Favor my has 
Pasco you believe that that's your testimony your help has come god bless you i love you all i look forward to seeing you tomorrow service 6 30 remember we are still fasting see you tomorrow